This video takes a look at the web command in Fusion 360. So the web command is used to create thin support features within parts. What I want to do is I'm going to turn off, let's right click so you can hire so you can see the option. I'm going to turn off the visibility of all my components but the left side and rotate around. And what I need to do is create strengthening features within this plastic part. I need a sketch to do that. And to create a sketch, I need a construction plane. So I'll offset a plane two millimeters into the part. And let's rotate so you can see where that's positioned within my, my design here. Now I'll create a sketch on that construction plane. And the web command uses open sketched curves. So I'm going to start by just drawing a line. The length of the line doesn't matter. I just need to make sure it's positioned in the right spot. And I want to create a few of these. So I'm going to use pattern to copy that line. So I'll drag out. I need three spaced out 24 millimeters. And I want a second row. So I'm going to drag down on the manipulator. And let's change the quantity to two. And those are the sketch curves I'm going to use to create my web features. So I stopped the sketch just for visibility sake. It makes it easier to see and I'll use the web command now. I'll just window select to grab all my curves. And we'll use one millimeter for the thickness. You'll see I get a preview of the web feature. And let's take a look at some of the options that you have in the dialog. So the first is I can change the thickness direction. So I'm set to symmetric, which goes half a millimeter in both sides of the uh, sketch. The other option is to go one direction. When I change, you can see what the feature looks like. So this goes one millimeter to one side of those sketch curves that I selected. For the depth option, I'm set to two next. So it projects down to the next intersection of my component. I can also specify a depth and let's use two millimeter. So now instead of going to the next intersection, the geometry is created two millimeters deep. All right, so I really wanted two next, so we'll switch that back. Flip direction does exactly what it sounds like. It would flip the direction where it's looking for intersections. So that really wouldn't apply in this design. And extend curves extends those sketched lines to the intersection of the geometry. So I turn that off. My web only goes as long as those lines. I turn it back on, click OK to create the feature. And just like that, I have my web features. So this command works with any sketch curves. So I'm going to go back in, create a new sketch on that same plane. I'm going to project the edge of the slot, then use offset to create an arc off of there. So we'll use a three millimeter offset. And now let's go back to the web command. I'll select my curve. Again, we'll use one millimeter for the thickness and leave all the other options the same as before. So that's how you create web features in Fusion 360.